Okay, welcome everybody today to this webinar about HPC Europe 3. I'm Atte Silanpää and I'm working as a project manager at HPC Europe 3 at CSC, which is one of these participating centers in this program. Today I'll go through uh, what this HPC Europe 3 is and why I think it's so brilliant and try to encourage you to apply and use that for international research visits. So what is HPC Europe? Uh, it is a program started in May 2017, a bit less than a year ago, and uh, it's a succession for HPC and HPC 2. The latter ended in 2014, so there were three years that there was no HPC Europe. The idea is that the European community wants to foster international research collab collaboration using high-performance computing. So we have praise and other initiatives, but they have a little bit high uh, barrier to start using it. And, and this is one of those attempts, one of those programs to try to bring more new scientific disciplines to use HPC. And HPC means high performance computing in this context. So what the project does is, is it funds these research visits. Uh, another thing which is not the topic of today is that, that there's a joint research activity in this program that explores con use of containers as a means to take your uh, computational environment, your working environment with you, including the workflow. So it makes easier to go and visit and do your stuff at, uh, at another site. Um, the map on the right hand side, it doesn't show France as, as one of the green countries. France is member of, of the program, but it's not one of those where you can actually make a, a research visit and, and because we're focusing on these visits today, that's why France is not mentioned in green. So what do you get? Uh, what does uh, HPC Europe offer? Um, it, it pays for your travel and accommodation costs and uh, if possible also a small daily allowance. Uh, in addition, of course, uh, you'll get computational resources and support for using that from your target country. And your target country can be any of these green countries printed on green on, on the right-hand side. And uh, here, on, under the second bullet point, those computing centers have been listed that are the representative centers of each of these countries. And I'll leave that as a, as a home for, homework for you to find out which one is from where. This is something you can easily find on the website, and I'll, I'll provide a link towards the end of the slide set. The research visit duration is from 3 to 13 weeks, and you can actually do this in, in two or three steps. Um, but in total, within this four-year duration of this project, you can only use 13 weeks of, of visits. Uh, the, if, if you split your visits, then, then they are considered as separate visits and you need to make a, a separate application for that. But the point is that you could apply for a visit now, go for a few weeks, like say five weeks, get started, then, then uh, do a follow-up visit maybe after a year to continue working, if, if that makes sense. Uh, your uh, visit host, which is typically... Uh, a research group at the receiving country will will give you supervision and and will be working in collaboration with you. So within this program, HPC Europe aims to fund in total 1,220 visits, which is a lot of visits. And uh, actually, it means that that we could support even more visits that that we have had until now. For example. All the visits in the first two calls that have already ended or have been handled, all, all visits to Finland were accepted. We've had good, good uh, applications, solid research uh, applications, but actually we could, we could support even more. Who can apply? Researchers can apply and, and researchers, with researchers we mean anybody from advanced master students to full professors from universities and research institutes, but also for from commercial companies. Uh, the 
the visitor home organ if the visitor home organization is in EU or in an associated state of which there are uh, 28 and 16 respectively so it's it's everything you can see on the map or even uh, f for a limited um, possibility a limited number of resources the visitors can also come from outside these countries uh, there are some requirements or limitations for eligibility of, of what the research can be and it should be openly publishable, just like academic research. So it's uh, EC is not funding for some uh, method development that, that aims at a commercial product that, that will not be disclosed in, in or published in, uh, in peer-reviewed journals. And another thing is that um, the, the research should require high performance computing or a little bit depending on, on, on your discipline. If you come from a, a scientific discipline where the use of HPC is not, not uh, commonplace, then, then we will be more liberal in thinking about um, what, what is HPC. The idea is to improve the use of uh, computational sciences and use of computers in research in Europe. So. If you think that, that you qualify with that, and I'll, I'll, I'll come to more details in that on the next slides, then please apply or at least ask of if, if, if your research application qualifies as, as eligible for HPC Europe. Typical or, or strong reasons and motivations is to start or strengthen international collaboration, for example, working on some common HPC uh, code. And I think, uh, why would you apply? Why would you invite somebody to your group? Why would you uh, go for a trans uh, international research visit? I think it, it should be obvious, but to um, make it easier to formulate this for the for the application, I'll just list a few few uh, arguments or a few few topics. So you might want to learn a new method that is is being developed at some other research group abroad or do you'd like to go there and teach how to use a method that you already know so in, in principle all sorts of consultations or you might want to contribute to a code and it would be much easier and much more efficient if you sit somewhere close by with somebody with whom you're doing this this could be code optimization so that it would scale better and it could be used in in HPC machines or it could be some other type of uh, code development uh, a different kind of uh, argument or motivation would be to access resources that are not available in your home organization. So the, the target uh, countries have their HPC centers providing resources. So you might have different kind of accelerators, GPUs, or, or just massively parallel computers, or maybe some, some um, advanced data analytics platforms or whatever. Uh, Overall, porting your code to a platform that, that not, that's not available or running some benchmarking calculations, for example, to prepare um, an application to apply for resources from praise or then just run production runs. You know what you're doing, but, but you need, need more resources or a different platform on, on where to run. Also, if you choose your uh, visit, the, the dates of your visit uh, conveniently, you might participating in some training that that takes place in your target country and these are just a few things that I've listed here overall uh, if if it makes sense to carry out the visit to go there then then uh, the, the panel will evaluate this and and we of course we try to support science that makes sense you could think that that if you would fund your research application then probably it is a good application and it makes sense. If you're unsure whether your uh, application qualifies, then just ask us. Another dimension for, for these visits is, of course, to extend your professional network. Uh, we know from uh, past that um, that uh, visits have, have uh, sparked uh, reciprocal, reciprocal visits and then turned into proper long-term research projects and collaborations and then maybe a, uh, a place where you do some postdoc work or then your new, new home country. 
or or um, since uh, it's also possible to visit companies if if you're developing some bleeding edge uh, research method that would perhaps be useful also for companies then you could use this to fund your research visit to the company and go and impress them that yes you sh you should use this one or uh, alternatively invite somebody from the company to to visit your group and, and impress them with your method there so where can you go uh, to any of the green countries uh, there are hundreds of research groups already signed up as hosts so host is one role that exists in this uh, in this program and once you log in in the uh, as a researcher in the uh, portal the Chinica portal then then you can uh, go and and uh, browse the different groups that have signed up sign up as hosts if you would like to um, invite somebody over and you have not yet listed your research group as a host then you can just uh, create yourself an account and and sign up as a host and add your yourself as a host or alternatively you can send email to us and we'll do that for you Typically, the research visits will be hosted by a research group but, uh, or, or a company, but sometimes it's also possible to visit an HPC center. Uh, since I'm, I'm working at CSC, in, it's in my special interest to um, invite people to come to Finland, and, and we've had already quite a few from past projects or past HPC Europe project programs. We know that... Uh, for example, Barcelona is very um, a popular destination, and and although I understand that that it's, it makes sense to go to a sunny place, I, I would like to offer you uh, an alternative. In Finland, we've got slush and mosquitoes, but also the midnight sun, and uh, many of the visitors have been quite happy also coming here. In case uh, you come from the the Baltic area or the Balkans, you have an additional opportunity to make a research visit to either Sweden or Greece where there is a special program for those people who have a little bit less experience in HPC Europe uh, in HPC use, usage of HPC and they have some uh, additional resources to um, give some training and, and support with that the application process is simple this is a uh, a quote, not only my own opinion. You just uh, point your browser to this uh, web page and and create yourself an account and then follow up with the by step by step in the application process. The first thing is is to look at uh, where you want to go and choose choose one of the hosts. If your host is not listed there, then you can ask the host to sign up as, as shown in the previous slide and overall it's a very good idea to contact the host before you submit your application so that you both agree that that it uh, that the project is is a good one if you have any questions then just ask us either at staff at hbc europe org or or here at, at in finland the the call is open all the time uh, the applications will be handled four times a year and the next deadline is at the end of February. And the deadlines will be shown on the website uh, front page. The selection is made in three stages. There, there will be uh, an evaluation by the HPC Center that's receiving the application. There will be a technical review that uh, th there are there we can't see any technical reasons why the research wouldn't su succeed and that for example that there um, the hardware and resources required by the project are available then uh, the host will reply with a, a host support letter that okay they also think that this is a good research project and they support the research or the support the visit and finally with this information uh, international scientific panel evaluates the uh, the applications and grants or doesn't grant uh, the, the funding for the visit. So, uh, as a summary, uh, you make good science and, and we, we provide you funding. Uh, I would say that the application process is easy. 
it's it's open all the time and and you only need to make two uh, short reports and fill in two questionnaires after after you've been accepted after the um, research visit has taken place and if you have any questions just ask us uh, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Would you have any questions? We know after testing that the stream has a lag of few seconds, so if I don't answer immediately, then patience. You would need to uh, ask the questions from the chat box. And uh, yes, if, if, if you want to leave any feedback, there, there should be a link below in the description section. And if, if you take a little time and help us improve our webinars, that would be great. Okay, so thank you. Would you have any questions? Okay, so there was a question that uh, whether the host organization also needs to provide funding. No. Uh, in principle, the, the, the costs from for the visit are covered by uh, HBC Europe. So reasonable travel costs. So the flight tickets, train tickets if needed, uh, and the accom accommodation costs, again, reasonable, will be covered by, by the project. Uh, and there will also be a small daily allowance. And at least in Helsinki, we can also provide for the travel card if that's needed to, to commute between um, where you live and, and where you work. So in that sense, uh, the host organization doesn't need to provide any funding for the visit. Uh, in Finland, the host organization should look for the uh, or help the, the visitor to look for accommodation. But if, if that turns out to be difficult, then we can also help with that. That's a very good question. Thank you. Okay, so what the research plan should should include, whether just to cover the the a period of of the visit or just uh, or the whole whole project well i suppose that at least the whole project should be outlined but then it should have a plan what what happens during the visit and what it should accomplish i think it makes sense to to uh, somehow tie that to what the actual project tries to accomplish and whether uh, a publication will result but uh, of course, just if, if you're unsure, then just contact us and we can look. This might uh, vary a little bit from case to case. Okay, I think there are no additional questions. So thank you for particip particip participating. If you have any questions, just contact us at uh, HBC Europe at CSCFI or at hbceurope.org. Thanks, and I hope you'll join in one of our visits.